While Russia's Rostec Corporation has claimed that the unit price of the new single-engine stealth fighter will be around $30 million, which is much lesser as compared to $41 million of the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet. There are reports that the cost mentioned by Russia is for the bare-bone manned aircraft, and will not include many of the technologies that were advertised. It is estimated that the price with full features might be around $60 million per unit, which still makes it the cheapest fifth-generation fighter jet on offer. It is to be noted, that the FGFA based on SU-57 was supposed to cost around $62 million per unit to the Indian Air Force, but when the foreign development investment was factored in for an India-specific variant, the unit price increased to $120 million per unit. The Indian Air Force has announced, that a fresh batch of three Rafale fighters have arrived in India after a direct ferry from the Easter's Air Base in France, and the aircraft were provided mid-air refueling by aerial tankers of the United Arab Emirates. The first Rafale squadron with 18 fighters is fully operational at the Ambala Air Base, and the second Rafale squadron at the Hasimara Air Base in West Bengal now has a strength of eight fighters, and the remaining 10 fighter jets will arrive in batches before April 2022. Hindustan Aeronautics is expected to respond to the request for proposal from the Royal Malaysian Air Force for a light tactical aircraft by the end of September 2021. The export variant of the Tejas light combat aircraft will have a price tag of less than $41 million, and a Malaysian team will also visit Bangalore this month, and they will be given a full tour of the Tejas production facilities, test infrastructure as well as a demonstration of its combat potential. A combined team of the DRDO Bharat Dynamics Limited and Bharat Electronics has successfully tested the Mach 2.5 capable 70 km range Akash next generation surface to air missile system in the full operational configuration from the integrated test range in the presence of the representatives of Indian Air Force. The test was conducted from a land based platform with all weapon system elements such as multifunction radars, command control, and communication systems and officials have said that the missile demonstrated high maneuverability, that is required for targeting fast and agile low radar cross-section aerial threats. The DRDO has successfully tested the indigenously developed low-weight fire and forget man portable anti-tank guided missile, and the minimum range was successfully validated during this test, as the maximum range of 2.5 km has already been validated in the last test. The missile features state-of-the-art miniaturized infrared imaging seeker along with advanced avionics, and it was launched from a man-portable launcher integrated with thermal sight, and the missile hit the target in direct attack mode with high precision. Officials have said that control flight tests have been successfully carried out, and guided flight tests with infrared imaging seeker are planned for the next test. Larsen and Tubro is now leveraging to enter the global market for midget submarines with the indigenously designed SOV-400, that will have a submerged displacement of 550 tons, and is optimized for special forces missions. It has a length of 44 meters, a submerged speed of 18.5 km per hour, and has an operating depth of 1000 meters and an endurance of 21 days. It can carry 10 operators of the special forces, and two swimmer delivery vehicles can also be hung on the lower hull. The SOV-400 is also armed with two 533mm heavyweight torpedoes that is carried externally, and is integrated with a sonar system primarily for surface targets. The DRDO is all set to test the man portable defensive missile system in the coming days, that features multi-spectral optical seeker with fire and forget capability during day and night conditions at an effective range of 6 km. Hyderabad-based firm Green Robotics is developing an autonomous manpad data link system, which will bring isolated man portable air defense system operators into a network environment, that will provide a real-time target assignment and complete engagement cycle management. 
the chief of Russia's Federal Service for Military Technical Cooperation has said, that in response to a request for proposal from the Indian Ministry of Defense in 2021, Russia has sent a commercial offer to India for the delivery of 21 MiG-29 fighters, and the Indian Air Force has already checked the airframes, and is currently examining the commercial offer. He also added, that the Russian MiG-35 fighter jet has been submitted to the Indian Defense Ministry's tender for the local production of 110 combat aircraft, and a demonstration flight of Russia's MiG-35 fighter jet flown by a foreign customer's pilot is also planned during the MAX 2021 airshow in Moscow. The DRDO is developing a new electro-optical system for coastal and harbor surveillance that will be installed at strategic locations along the coastline, and it will comprise of thermal images and optical cameras to auto-detect targets at a range of 25 km, and identify them at 8 km, and also provide requisite inputs for decision-making. The two defense industrial corridors in UP and Tamil Nadu have received investment of around 3,342 crore rupees from public as well as private sector companies, and the respective state governments have also announced their aerospace and defense policies to attract private players as well as foreign companies in these two corridors, and investments of 20,000 crore rupees are planned in both defense corridors by 2024. Oh, my God.